welcome in hockey fans from the desert southwest. This is a great day for hockey because it's, let me get this right, girls ice hockey, world ice hockey girls day, correct yeah, Kelsey inter- Byron? Yeah, international girls hockey weekend. Fantastic, we're here behind the mask, Kelsey's with uh, the Arizona Coyotes uh, hockey development group. Yep. Um, I see you all over Facebook. I see you on Instagram. I see you on the ice. Yeah. You're playing hockey, but tell me a little bit about this weekend and what it means. Um, you know, this is a great way to promote girls' hockey in Arizona. It's really growing, especially thanks to Lindsay Fry right. and the Kachinas organization. So to get just more girls into the hockey is just a great thing. We have a ton of girls coming into the Little Howlers and the Small Fries program, right. and they're just having so much fun with it, and it's just so great to see. Okay, so this is starting our fifth year of coverage of hockey in the desert southwest. When I started it and I met with Lindsay, I said, what's going to happen to girls hockey? She said, I have no idea. I know what I want to do, but I have no idea what's going to happen. Your thoughts on the explosion of not only girls hockey, but hockey in general? I mean, it's just great. I started playing six years ago when I was 21 years old and getting into the sport late and then seeing all the girls that are now getting into it and even the older girls too, it's just it's awesome it's great to see more girls on the ice you know it's a great community and really supportive you know the beauty of of having girls hockey is the girls get a chance to play against girls right the more numbers so you don't have to move up and play in the boys group although i've seen some tough things i've seen some tough injuries that you've had (laughs) so (laughs) so tell me a little bit about girls hockey and and how it's grown to the point where they're competing against girls now and good girls right yeah you know it's it's a whole different ball game playing against girls and it's you know it's fun because when I started I started playing with guys and you know there is a little bit of a difference right playing with girls is so much fun it's competitive and you know girls are just wanting out there to be equal and have fun and I just I can't say how much I love the sport of hockey <laughs> So you're not alone, and with the growth of hockey in the desert southwest, obviously we're looking for more ice sheets, but the girls right now are finding time to play, they're finding places to play, and the the birth of the Kachina has really been something fantastic for girls hockey, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been great. Um, I love coaching with the organization. Uh, It's great to see all the girls on the ice. Our girls just love being out there, and just the friendships and even the family aspect of it. They're just becoming one great organization and really helping to support each other and grow the game of hockey. Okay, so tell me here behind the mask today, what's the goal of today? What do we want to do with uh, the girls that are coming through here? You know, we just want to see girls out here. We want to see them, you know, um, interacting with each other and supporting each other, and it's just for a great cause. Plus, we are raffling away some Beats (laughs) headphones, which is really cool. So if you come out here, get a scratcher, you could win some Beats headphones. There's also some other great prizes that we're giving away. All right, so tell me what's been happening. I know it's early in the day so far, but tell me what's been happening. What are some of the things that the girls have said? Have you run into some girls that are just for the first time being here and uh, experiencing hockey? Yeah, you know, we're getting some new faces in the door. We're also seeing a lot of faces from ASU, GCU, and the Kachinas out here. So it's a whole great mix coming into the store today. Kelsey, I appreciate your time as always. And uh, enjoy the day and enjoy this growth of girls hockey in the desert southwest. Thank you. Really appreciate you coming out today. Welcome back into uh, World Girls Hockey Weekend. It's an international event, but we're here behind the mask. As you can see, I've got a Sparky. I've got an ASU girl with me. I've got Avery Chmielewski. Yes. Avery is from Chicago, uh, Illinois, you're telling me. Sophomore here at ASU. So the obvious question is, what brought you to ASU to play hockey? Um, I think the first thing was just, it's nice weather here. I right. mean, <laughs> common, like... Never bad with that. Yeah, right? no, you can't go wrong with that. And um, originally I didn't want to play college hockey, and then I saw that ASU had a women's team, and I was like, you know what, let me reach out to the coach. And I came out here for a visit, and I skated with them, and I it went so well, and I loved it. And um, Coach Lindsay offered me a spot, and the rest is history, I guess you could say. <laughs> All right, well, history's in the making because you guys started the season 5-0, and including the win last night against the rival Grand Canyon. You got another game tonight. Tell me about last night. How exciting was that? 
Um, it was just, it was so exciting just because, like, the rivalry is, like, really big. And, you know, the energy that we had last weekend, we wanted to keep that up and bring it into this weekend. So it was, you know, really exciting. And we all just wanted, you know, to keep it up, keep that energy up. Okay, growing up in the uh, upper Midwest like you did in Illinois, um, hockey was probably more prevalent than you thought it would be down here. But yeah. you're seeing the growth of, of women's hockey, girls' hockey down here. What have you seen in your short time that you've been in Arizona as far as the growth of girls' hockey? I mean, just like you said, it's so different, you know, between like the Midwest and out here in Arizona. And I see out here like people are so, you know, dedicated to growing the sport and they're really involved and um you know i've never been on a team that has been so involved like with the community right. and reaching out and you know trying to get everyone to try and play the sport it's just everyone is just so involved and wants to see the sport grow and they'll do anything they can all right so tell me about you personally when did you start playing what got you interested in hockey um, well, I've been playing for almost 12 years, I think, and just, like, my dad was a really big hockey fan, and, you know, I'm a big Chicago Blackhawks fan, right. so just, my dad was like, you know what, I want you guys to play hockey, and at first, my parents didn't think, like, I was going to stay with it, right. and I did, and here I am. <laughs> So what's the draw? What what makes hockey the sport that you wanted to play as opposed to other sports? Um, I think just you're always moving and right. just like the intensity and like the physicality. It's just, it's un, like, it's different from every other sport. It's just so much fun. And I don't even know how to explain <laughs> it because I, like, I love the sport so much. All right, two quick questions for you. You uh, traveled on the road. You went to uh, Colorado. Tell us what it's like to play four games, three days, <laughs> different times, morning, night, middle of the day, and then making that trip from here to there. Wow. I mean, at first, you know, going there, it's really exciting. Like, you're super pumped up. And then you just get really tired really fast, and you have to, you know, conserve a lot of energy, make sure you're not goofing off a lot, and, like, you know, I try and take little, like, power naps when I can on the bus just to stay um, well-rested. And you just drink lots of water, stay hydrated, like, keep eating, and just got to relax and make sure you're not stressing yourself out, especially knowing that you have homework, too. So. Right. Well, you yeah. guys are student athletes, right? You don't just play hockey. Yeah, you got to go to school. Yeah, go to school. <laughs> yeah. All right. You're off to a 5 and start. Final question for you is, what do you do from this point to continue this winning streak? And part two of that question is, is this team good enough to get into the national tournament and do some damage? I mean, the start that we have this year is a lot different from last year. So I definitely think we do have a chance. If we keep playing the way we're playing, I think it'll look good for us. Uh, we just got to make sure that we stay confident and not cocky and know the game that we can play and not play down to other teams' levels. Very good. Thanks for your time. Enjoy the uh, the rest of the weekend, another game tonight. So get rested up, keep that schoolwork up, and good luck the rest of the way. Thank you so much. Behind the Mask Hockey Shop, celebrating 25 years of exceptional service to the Arizona hockey community. Offering the top brands and an educated staff of hockey players to help you choose the right gear for you. Visit any one of our three Valley locations or check us out online at BehindTheMask.com. All right, folks, it's another, uh, well, it's a first, really. It's it's a uh, world, I didn't get this right, World Girls Hockey Day. I've got a GCU hockey player with me. Not an Arizona native, though, do I? No. Emmy Walgren, welcome in. Hi, welcome. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about playing hockey at GCU. What brought you here and what made you want to be a Lope? So I love it here so far. I'm a freshman this year, um, but it's really an awesome team to be on. I really love being coached by Rossi. Um, she's a great coach and I love my teammates so far. I think we played really well last night, so yeah. So last night you played the arch rival ASU. They'd already played some games. You guys just had a scrimmage under your belt. So what's it been like getting things rolling? Yeah, I mean, the first game's never going to go perfectly, but I think we played really well. We really did. Um, we put in a hard three periods, and we really rolled all of our lines pretty evenly and just worked really hard, so I'm really proud of my team for sure. Okay, where's home for you? 
I'm from Laramie, Wyoming. <laughs> so Laramie, Wyoming to Phoenix, Arizona. How did it happen? Um, I, well, Natalie saw me play at um, a tournament about three years ago. Okay. And so GCU had always kind of been in the back of my mind. And then um, I watched some of their games online and stuff, and it just looked like a team that I wanted to play for. So here I am. <laughs> So you get to Grand Canyon, you see the, the campus, and I'm sure you're like everybody else, you're pretty impressed by it. Um, you got the purple and the, the black and the white, and now all of a sudden you realize, hey, I'm playing for this university. What's it like to play for Grand Canyon University? It's awesome. It's a real awesome experience. Um, the team is really just becomes your family right away, and um, it's nice to just walk into campus as a freshman and know that you have people that um, are on your team and just have your back. And the campus is awesome. I love the school. So, yeah. You know, and it's club sports, but when I walk around your campus, you feel like it's an NCAA program, don't you? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, I think it is starting to be recognized as just a real sport on campus. It's different than a lot of club sports, I think, in my opinion. So. All right, so let's talk about a little bit about the program. You guys, like I said, got your first taste of real game action last night, but what do you have to do to continue to get better and continue to uh, accomplish what you want to do this year? Yeah, um, I think that just learning to gel as a team um, and just learning how everyone plays and who plays really well together and stuff is just what's going to help us fine-tune um, just our play for the future. So, What's, what's hockey like here as compared to Wyoming? Um, Wyoming is very small. I've actually never really um, played like this on a girls team before. I grew up playing with the boys, um, so I really love it. It's it's a different experience, but I mean, I just see the growth here and the passion for hockey, and um, I know they just started that Kachinas program, and it's just awesome to see how many girls are coming out, so I love playing down here so far. So you guys not only play hockey, but you're student athletes, so you got classes to go to. It's a Saturday afternoon. You just played last night. You're playing. You're playing again. What's it like to? What, what's the community spirit like? And how important is that to you as a lope to get out and, and and be in the community? I think it's awesome. Yeah, especially coming from somewhere so far away. Um, just getting off of campus every once in a while and just like having that team and having um, some fans and some girls that we get to coach and stuff like that. It's cool to feel like you're actually plugged into the Phoenix community, not just the GCU community. So. All right, two final questions for you. Number one, I want to know what your thoughts are about playing at Arcadia. You guys have a friendly confine there with a great fan base. Tell me what it was like to be, play your first game uh, on the ice at Arcadia. Yeah, it was awesome to see how many people came out to support us. I honestly wasn't expecting that. And so many little high fives from the cute little hockey players. So it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I like it. It feels like home already. Okay, final question for you about home, Grand Canyon. <laughs> Tell me something about Grand Canyon University that really caught your eye that maybe you didn't expect or maybe you did expect and it just exceeded things. Um, so just the university itself, um, everyone there is so nice. Like, actually, I really haven't been to a place like that where everywhere you go, everyone is holding the door for you and just, like, so nice. And people are really interested about our hockey program on campus. And um, everyone's just super supportive and has so much school pride. So I really like that, and it surprised me a lot. Emmy, thanks for stepping in with us here at Behind the Mask in Scottsdale. And good luck tonight, good luck the rest of the way, and lopes up, right? Lopes up, thank you. <laughs>